Martino. Welcome back to part three. So just had breakfast and we got getting down on the river and uh, let's see what we can find around here. So we've bought a panning permit for this area. It's a bit, um, not sure what to make of it really. We paid for the permit. But we'd have no rights to the gold in this area and we have no landowner permission. So I don't really see the point of the permit, to be honest. But we'll happily pay it if that's what they want. <coughs> because I'm all for helping the community out. But they really do need to sort out with the landowners and with the gold company with rights to keeping the gold and let's see what comes with the future but we've bought the permit and we're down on the river we did have no problems so today we're in this bedrock gorge and uh, the center of the burn has been dug out quite badly for the bigger gold so i went there you've got a bit of a gorge it opens up and there it was a big gravel bar chucked up on here going right across here where there was a line of big boulders crossing the, the gravel bar there so I pulled out the center look and it's a very sloping bedrock bank so you wouldn't expect gold to be up there but there's heavies in the gravel in the fine gravels and it's suspending the flood gold in the gravels on the slope I dug down woods and the gold got less and I dug upwards towards the edge and the gold got more so we just I just cleared the whole of that center of that gravel bar did lift a couple of pieces of loose bedrock, but there was no material between them, so there's no point doing that. And got a quite, quite a you know a little bit of gold, enough to keep going at it. Anyway, to clear that centre section, uh, it was tailing off towards that end. So I'm going to go under those couple of big boulders, do a couple more pans, and then I might try somewhere else. Got a little uh, drop riffle running away there nicely. But nice day, midges are just about keeping at bay. This new camera seems to have tracking enabled on it. I didn't know it had it. So it made a nice change of getting back to the old uh, pumping and panning or pumping and sluicing because on this trip I've been practicing sniping and uh, scratching out the cracks and stuff so I made a change to go back to the norm and just pump some gravel bar into the bucket and uh, do a little bit of sluicing. So I'm only after flower gold in this section. The boys have gone further up the gorge looking for pickers and nuggets that are sniping still, that's what they're into. Um, giving that a break and go back to my pumping. I found I found the flower gold in the gravel bar, so I felt like oh, I'm going to clean this out. So that's what we're doing today. So once I got to the bedrock slope, it's easier just to shovel the gravel straight off it. Makes for easy shoveling.
do find sluicing very satisfying. This is about as slow as I ever run the drop riffle, uh, just down to water flow really. It was only just running this burn. But uh, we managed to sluice half the gravel bar and get a decent amount of flower gold out of it. Much water and the tailings keep uh, building up real quick. So every few scoops I've got to clear the tailings run. Keep the sluice flowing nicely. So that's my sluicing done. Let's have a look at the gold. Pretty nice gold. It didn't look to be that great quality to be honest, but it's uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with what I got. And so now we're going to go off up the gorge and see how the boys are getting on. Gotta get to the bottom of it, Rob. How far has Nick got done? There's a big hole here. It'll go to the little hole and I'll disappear. This bedrock slide. Is it slippy? And just ahead is Nick working under a widow maker. Is this where you had the picker from? Yeah. Fucking hell. That is a bit bolder, isn't it? You don't want that sliding on you. I'm only just getting into the good stuff now. I'm pulling this crap from all the way back there. Nothing. Yeah. And so I've got here and two little plates and a picker. Nice. Well, it's nice material for me now. <laughs> this is where you're going to make the gravy. Yeah. <laughs> Golden gravy. Yeah, it's going to look like a there. Yes. How do we get up here? Uh, you can. Is it can slippy? Get, yeah, it's a bit slippy. This is the worst one foot there. It's just a bit there. So just up here, I've been told, is the mother of all boil oh. holes. We're going to go and investigate it. So dry. So we've got a cave going on here. For some reason, as soon as I swam into the boil hole, 
I just had a bad vibe, but I just turned around and swam out as fast as I could. Deep boil off. <laughs> Oh, I can swim well, but I got the shit of me just swimming in that then. Getting the nice bits of gold in. Nice one. So this is Rob's hole today at the end of this little bedrock shoot. What have we got then Rob? Some chunky coarse pieces. Nice man. It's going alright isn't it? It's got a few nice little yeah, pieces in there. Oh, it's a nice flake in there isn't it? It's a good day out. Yeah, they've all got a little bit of... I've been on the flower today compared to that. Witness to it. Nice. Look at all this silver thing is though, I've got a bit of silver. Oh, I'll take that across. It's like a rock. It'll crush. You reckon it'll crush? Yeah, probably. I don't know, it's heavy. Look. Well, I'll be nice silver if you're looking. I don't know if it's um... Well, black in it. It's, been it's probably it's silver like... then. It's very weird. In the canyon. Been in that scary boil hole, but now we're gonna go back and I'm gonna scrape a little sulfide vein I've seen, see if there's anything in that. A few chunks in there, haven't I? 